Hey gals, it's Fee. It's been a while since I did an update. Um, I haven't done one of these before, but I thought I would do an update with what my strips look like this month. I did um, I did two different strips this month, actually. Um, OPKs, I did these guys that everybody knows off the internet. And I also did Clear Blue Advanced. Um, it's just another OPK strip, but I don't know, it's kind of like a quasi-monitor because this one gives you um, peak and high, which none of the other ones do that. But I had never used it before, so uh, of course, me being the typical crazy person that I am, I did these at the same time because I was just curious what it looked like in comparison. Um, this monitor, when you put the strips in, after you pull it out, the same lines that are on these are underneath the strip part. That's actually what is going inside here that the uh, digital part is reading. So I was curious what the lines on this one looked like compared to this one. So I'm going to show you what my stuff looked like this month. And this, this box also gives you... Um, instructions on the inside to give you an idea of when they think you should start um, peeing on a strip, so to speak. <laughs> uh, and for me, it would have been cycle day 10, so I probably would never have started testing that early because I, I am not an early ovulator. I know that in advance, but I did it this month just because this was my first go with these particular tests. So I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, so this is my results, and I went crazy with a marker and marked everything. You can see, I don't know, you think you can see pretty good in this, actually. Um, cycle day 10, there's, you know, that second line is pretty much non-existent. Um, the H's are when the advanced clear blue test said I was high in my high range and pretty much the way I view it that is uh, telling you you're about to get a peak which is what the P is down there on the 17th day it, because these tests also uh, monitor for estrogen not just LH which is kinda handy so it can give you much more advanced warning than all the other ones out there But um, you can see the little cheapy blue strips I kind of went nuts with also starting on the, the 13th. I, I did all of the, the purple clear blues at the beginning. I did those um, in the morning and I did the blue ones at night. So the ones in between each, the blue ones in between the purples are, were the nighttime ones. But then once I got down to day 16, I started going crazy and I, and I did it in the morning and at night. I did both of them. You can um, see that over here. I started doing both. And then this one is the morning of the 17th day. And this is both on the 17th. And here's the 18th. You can see on the 17th is when I did finally get my peak. And with this particular test, um, the monitor stays at peak for two days and you're not supposed to do another test because there's no point. So, I don't know, in my opinion, it's like the secondary lines fade in a little bit better on the cheapy blue ones. It's like I can see it coming on, but with the purple, clear blue, advanced ones, it, it almost went from nothing to a double line there. You can see on the 17th, let's see if this thing focuses. I guess not. That's about as close as I'm going to get. But you can see that that defini would definitely be red as a positive on the blue ones, and of course on the clear blue it came through as a peak. So, I found this really interesting, actually. 
and I may do this again um, in the future. So that's what I have. Alright, so those were my strip tests for this month and um, everything looked good. So uh, I am actually out of my two week wait and survey says my result this month was Try again. Ant flow is here. Um, any of you that see me on Facebook, um, I, I, I renamed her this morning. I'm going to call her the Red Plague because she aggravated me. <laughs> I, you know, I had a really good um, outlook all this month. I had a really good feeling. I thought everything was going well, and not so much, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I've had I've had good feelings for myself. I've had good feelings for other people, and whenever that has happened, it, it's never turned out the way my good feelings were pointing. So I don't know what that says, but um, <laughs> I guess I will try and keep my outlook up, and we'll try again next month. Um, what I'm going to do differently is probably I'm definitely not going to start those tests on day ten. I'll probably start my tests on. I don't know, probably day 13, just in case I should actually get it at the normal time at 14 days. But um, in the past, I've always gotten it right on 14. But after my DNC, the last number of months, it always seems to be a little bit late. So I'm just going to go with that. Sorry, I got interrupted there. Okay, where was I? Um, I don't want to start testing as early as cycle day 10 because I just get crazy. I, I, I am not good with controlling my anxiety, and you know, that two-week wait at the end is, is, is bad enough. So um, I start testing as early as day 10, and, and I find every day I'm like, oh my god, why aren't the, why aren't the lines getting darker? Am I going to ovulate? Am I not going to ovulate? I, yeah. I just, I don't want to give myself more of that than I should have to deal with. And uh, that actually brings me to something else. Um, I also temp. And I will insert my chart here if I can. All right, you can see from that my temperature was like everywhere. My temperature was up and down and down and up, and oh my god, it was crazy. And it's, you know what, it's never done that before. Um, I, my, my lowest temp is pretty low and my highest temp is, is, is pretty high, I think, because my, my low temps actually go off the typical paper charts that you can print off the uh, internet, which is why I use Fertility Friend, because it's just easier. But uh, I may stop temping once I see that I have ovulated. I, I do think doing that really helps to see if your, your temperature is um, going in line with uh, the ovulation strips or if one or the other is slightly off. But, um, you know, the la this month may have just been a bad one for me because I haven't been sleeping well. And, and I know that can really affect your, your basal body temperature. So that, that may be why that chart looks looks like a, the top of a spiky porcupine. <laughs> um, but... Uh, I find, again, myself being anxiety-ridden after I ovulate because the whole time I'm thinking, okay, is my temperature going to stay up? Is it going to continue to stay up? Am I pregnant? Am I not pregnant? Of course, what we're doing, am I pregnant? Am I not pregnant the whole time anyways? But, but as I'm charting, I find myself, I get to the end, and then I see that temperature drop right before um, the red plague shows up. And it, it makes me crazier than I need to be. It does. My husband has actually said, you know what, why do you need to do this to yourself? Just just, just temp, temp for um, as long as you need to for the ovulation, and then after that, just stop. So, I, I don't know. When I, when I bring some of the stuff back to my doctor in a couple months, they wanted us to try for three months before they put me on, uh, I don't know, probably Clomid. Um, and this upcoming month is the second month. So I don't know, what is that? Sometime in September, July, August, yeah, September is probably when I'll be bringing all this stuff to my doctor. Um, as long as nothing else goes wrong in between, then I'll be going earlier. 
so hopefully I won't be doing that. But when I do go to see her and I bring her all these charts, I'm sure stopping mid-month is probably not going to make her happy. But hey, at least I'll have the first two, the first two or three or four. Yeah, I've been doing that for a little while now. Um, so I don't know. That's what I've got, and I think that's what I'm going to do, just to try and keep myself a little bit more sane next month, and hopefully keep my spirits up. So I don't know. We'll see. That's all I've got for now. So I will talk to you ladies later, and hopefully I'll have something a little bit more positive next time. I'm trying to keep the smile on my face today, even though I'm really not happy today. But that's all right. Roll with it, right? Onward and upward. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, okay, so I lied. I forgot something. Um, I'll call it PMS brain for now. Maybe in the future I can blame it on pregnancy brain. <laughs> um, I, uh, I don't know what, a couple months ago I did a couple of videos on all of the stuff that I take, and I just wanted to toss something at the end here since it is something I'll be changing next month. Um, I was, there we go, I was drinking this stuff. Fertility. You can get it from Fairhaven Health or on Amazon. And I used up the whole thing. You got it left in there. And what I do is I, uh, I make a big hot teapot full of this stuff. And then I ice it and I keep it in my fridge in a pitcher. Um, I put a little Truvia in it. Because that's about the only sugar I think is safe. Other than real stuff. And the real stuff I don't like using either. Too much sugar. PCOS. Not a good idea. Um... I did a little research on this because I, I can deal with this, but I, I don't know. I, I mean, I've had better, better tasting tea than this before. Um, and a while ago, I ordered uh, some stuff from a seller on Amazon called Baby Hope, called, sorry, called Baby Hopes. And I noticed they had a different kind of tea, same concept. It's got all the good stuff in it that's supposed to help you get, get you pregnant. Only this stuff not only tastes better, but it smells better. I opened up the package and it was like I opened up a raspberry farm. It, that's what the stuff smells like. It, there, there's, I think there's a ton more raspberry leaf in this than that one. I think that's what's causing the, the taste and the smell difference. Um, and red raspberry leaf is supposed to uh, tone the uterus and help the pelvic region and all that kind of stuff. You can look it up. Um, so more of that is always a good thing. And like I said, this stuff just tastes better and smells better. Um, it looks the same as the other stuff if you're familiar with the other stuff. Let's see if I can get this on here. It looks like weeds. But yeah, that smells so much better. So um, I'm switching to this this upcoming month. Actually tried a little bit already since you can see it's open. Um, so that's my recommendation just in case anybody uh, is curious and I will I'll try and put um, a still shot at the end of this of the ingredients on the back so that you guys can see it for yourself. Alright? Alright, this time I promise I'm done. That's all I got. Talk to you later. Bye.